In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your NPC Live using a USB dongle. Check it out! What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton with MatthewCreating.com and on this channel, I like to do setup videos, tutorials, and overviews to help you create music. So Kai Professional have recently come out with the new firmware version 2.3. And this version introduces a number of upgrades to standalone mode. So in this tutorial series, I'm going to go ahead and use version 2.3 from this video forward. All the previous videos were using version 2.2. All right, so I wanna make this as simple as possible. First thing you need to do is plug in your USB drive into your computer. So once you go ahead and plug that drive into your computer, you need to go ahead and find the download for the firmware. I think the easiest way to find the download is go ahead and search for it. So you can see right here, it comes up, click on that. All right. And then you can see here, this is going to tell you everything about it. But if you go here, NPC Live product page, and then if you go to downloads, you can see right there, NPC Live Firmware 2.3 USB image. So you wanna download the USB update image. So once that's finished downloading, go ahead and open it up. Now we can see the update image is right here. So I'm going to put this on this side of the screen. Go ahead and go over here. I'm just gonna drag it from here directly onto that USB drive. You can see right here, it says USB drive F. And it's gonna go ahead and copy that information over to that drive. And it's gonna put it into the root folder of that drive. Now Akai's website says that you need to have a gigabyte on the drive. So this is a basic two gigabyte drive. So it should work out just fine. Okay, so now you can see the NPC 2.3.0 update is now in the root folder of the USB drive. So what I could do now is go ahead and eject this USB drive and take it over to my MPC Live and download the update onto the MPC Live. So now that you have the firmware image loaded onto your USB drive, what you need to do at this point is take your USB drive and plug it into the back of the MPC Live like so. So once the USB drive is in your MPC Live and you have your MPC Live powered on, another important thing is to make sure that you have your power cable plugged in. All right, so now you're ready to go. So go ahead and go to your menu, okay? And then click this gear icon, which is gonna take you to your preferences. Now you can see here I have version 2.2 loaded on. So what I wanna do is go ahead and push Shift. Now once I push Shift, you can see right here, this turns into update. It said reset. When I push shift, it says update. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and push update. Now it's gonna ask me, this drive contains firmware version 2.3 for your MPC. Do you wanna upgrade now? If you're sure, go ahead and push upgrade. And then it's gonna ask again, update MPC. Are you sure you want to update your MPC? Push update. It says updating. So this might take a few minutes. All right, it says do not unplug. So just be sure you don't restart your NPC or try to unplug it once you started this process. As you can see here, the NPC is automatically restarting. So once it restarts, it should be version 2.3. And I can already tell that this is version 2.3 because I could see right here, there's a little plugin icon. So that's gonna enable you to use plugins inside of the standalone unit here. So congratulations, you successfully updated your MPC Live. There you have it. That's how you update your MPC Live using a USB dongle. This video is a part of a video series. So go ahead and click the card right there. That's gonna take you over to that video series so you can catch up on the previous videos and go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can get updated on my future videos in that series. My name is Matthew, continue to create, and I'll see you in the next video.